Do you ever wish that you could add rich text formatting directly into your emails? Then in this week's episode of Working With Drafts, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working With Drafts. My name is Carl Pauline and yes, I am still in Ireland. And in this week's episode of Working With Drafts, I'm going to show you exactly how you can add rich text formatting, including active links, just using your drafts. So before any further ado, by the way, if you do like this video, I would really appreciate it if you would help me and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, oh, please subscribe. Okay, let's go straight into drafts this week and I'm going to show you exactly how to add rich text formatting into your emails. Okay, so what we have here is an email that I have created ready to send. But there's a few little things that I want to do. I want to format this so it looks a lot better. Now, the thing I should point out, whenever you're writing an email in draft, the first line of the draft is always going to be the title of the email. So as you can see here, I've got fantastic drafts email trick. And then I've got hi viewers. Here's a fantastic trick you can use to make your email look neat and tidy when sending links to other people. Don't forget you can get more action scripts from the drafts action directory. Good luck and best wishes. Now, Let's, first thing first, if you're going to send a markdown email, the easiest way, rather than having to learn how to use markdown and this different syntax for markdown, drafts really does help you. If you click on the gear icon here at the top of the keyboard on the left, click that and hit the markdown keyboard. So now we've got some little bits of things that you can actually see. Now the first thing I want to do, let's say I want to highlight this word here. So let's highlight this and make this a fantastic trick. And let's say I want to bold that one, so I'm going to bold it, and I'm going to italicize it. In fact, I'm not going to italicize it, <laughs> I'm just going to bold it. So there we go. Now we've bolded the text, and you can see that it's actually bolded. Now, the next thing that I want to do is we've got to, don't forget, you can also get more action scripts from the drafts action directory. And let's say I want to add the link to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my uh, action draft. Safari, oh, I got into the wrong one there. Let's just go back up here, drag that up, and let's go into, where's it gone? Oh, we've lost it. No, we haven't. So let's go into here, the Safari, and I want to get this link. So I'm gonna copy the link. So let's bring this up, and I'm gonna copy the link. There we go, and let's go back to drafts. There we go, go back, oops, go back to drafts down here. And what I can do here now is, if I highlight the drafts, oops, if I highlight the drafts action directory, so we'll highlight that. And as you can see, the one, two, three, four, fourth, fifth one from the left is link. Now I've copied it to the clipboard. Watch what happens. When I click link, what's going to happen is it's now added the drafts action directory and added the copied link next to it. Okay, so this is how you do your draft setup. Now the thing is, what I want to do now is I want to send that um, to my email app so I can send it. Now the thing is you've got two email, if you look down this list on the basics, you've got two emails. Now these are pre-built so you don't have to go and create them. You've got mail and markdown mail. So if you just click on mail, this is what you will get. It will open up mail but it won't create anything. It just adds a lot of stars and brackets which is not what you want. So we'll cancel that, delete that draft. And let's go back into my Markdown. So the one that you want to use is Markdown Mail. Look what happens when I create that. And we've actually got a little problem in my syntax. Let's just go back here. This is my fault because I was trying to be clever. So let's just um, go back here. And we'll get rid of those stars and do this again. So, and I want to put here. There we go. Right, so the bits that I want to highlight is here. So let's highlight the trick like that. Click on bold, done. Right, now if we go back to here and copy Markdown Mail, as you can see, it's bolded here as a fantastic trick. 
you can use to make your email and it's also added the link to the drafts action directory now you can't even do that in regular mail on iOS so this is just one of those wonderful things that you can use drafts for that's going to make things so much easier for you when you want to create emails with lots of links in so you can keep it clean and tidy and you can just by tapping you can just create the actual bolding that you wish okay hopefully that's given you some ideas about how you can use drafts it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week thank you for watching this video now if you want to take your productivity to a higher level then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of your digital life 2.0 online it is a complete comprehensive productivity and time management course and it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before it shows you how to build your very own cod system collect organize and do it shows you how to create the folder structure how to build into your, your goals into your daily to-do list it has everything and not only that you will get a free copy of your digital life 2.0 the book you also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course it is incredible value i want to see you in that course if you are serious about becoming productivity then please join me in your digital life 2.0 2019 edition thank you very much for watching this video